I'm Keen Tusanyo Shiel. I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia. I started playing soccer when I was five, when I was in Ireland. I'd always have my cousins and my, my parents and all that, always playing big family games, and I'd be like the little kid always trying to steal the ball and run around with it. I definitely like started falling in love with it then. I've been coaching him for, for two years with, uh, within the Canada Games program, but I've known him eight, nine years now. I haven't coached against him while he was at, uh, at other clubs, so he's always been one of the best players, if not the best player in his age group, for sure. Before he came to us, he played for Halifax County, and we played them in the provincial semi-final, and our game plan was to, to stop Kean. We ended up winning the game 5-4, and Kean scored all four goals, so... Even though, even though we tried to block him out the game, he still had an impact. I like to like pull away and take a defender with me, and then once I see a lot of space, like 10 metres of space, I like to burst into that there so I can have an open pocket, and then if I can turn, create something, or just bump it back. I think kind of like deceives, deceives the defenders around me because they don't think I'm going to run into that space, and all of a sudden I'm in it and turned. And I can get something going from that because I'm not really like the quickest on the field, but uh, I think I'm pretty good in, in my head, so... His ball striking is probably his biggest strength. Um, you know, I mean, he has quite a few strengths, but his ability to strike a ball, be it, you know, taking a shot on net, is that really that next level? But also is his, his vision on the field, so his ability to, to, to slip through balls or ping balls in, in behind, uh, you know, with the right weight, the right loft, um, you know, the right speed for his teammates to get on the end of him. He really does have that, that, that knack for finding, finding his target, be it the net or, or his teammates. We tried to get him the ball as much as possible, <laughs> as simple as that. Like, we know he can score goals, we know he can set, set players up, so whether he's as, uh, as a traditional centre midfielder or as an attacking midfielder, we, we like to try and get him on the ball because we know he can create. Like he, can, he scores all different kinds of goals, he can score from close, he can dribble in, he can hit from range, so he's got a lot of tools. He's a good decision maker. I mean, if you see someone in a better position, he'll he'll make that pass rather than go for glory himself. So, I think he's he's got a good blend between knowing when to hit and when to when to make the simple pass. Yeah, if there's a scout watching, I definitely want them to, to see my passing, my awareness, and like my ability to get it right on the other player's foot or right into space behind to create a good chance for us. I haven't worked with him the last couple of years ago. I just got a better appreciation of, of how smart he is as a, as a player. And, you know, his ability to strike the ball is, is probably second to none. You can hit it with, with both feet. I think one of the things that struck me having worked with him day in and day out is, is just his ability to maneuver in tight spaces and you know his ability to, to gauge pressure and read pressure and know where to take a touch safely and know when to release the ball to spring a teammate in or release because he's under pressure just for it to help us keep possession. It's just something I've always had, like a goal scoring touch from my dad. So I think that definitely helps and then I think I just have pretty good vision as to where to like put the ball and I like think kind of one step ahead like where the goal is going to be. We need like a late goal or anything that can push me forward. I can I can find a way to get in like a killer pass or a, or a good finish. So I can definitely like make a late impact. He's actually probably a little quicker and, and, and stronger than probably people give him credit for. You know, he doesn't have the biggest stature, but I know he's got great soccer IQ, which helps to kind of play against some, some players that are maybe a little bit stronger, a little bit quicker than him. He gets into spaces really well. He's not an overly athletic person who's going to cover every blade of grass on the field, but he'll just wait and pick his moments and just drift into spots where he's hard to pick up. I like kind of like putting my teammates before me, whether that's like putting in a big tackle or just getting them going motivated. So, so I just like winning and if that gives us the best chance of winning then I like to create a chance for my teammate if the shot's not on for me and that gives us a better chance to get a goal then there's no point of me taking something on. He does you know try and take what the information that's given him to by the coaching staff and, and execute it. Flip side of it is he's so skilled that sometimes he just kind of ad-libs some things on his own and, and you let those types of players do those things because uh, that's the X factor that they bring to the field. And just like pick what spots I want to like go in wherever there's space where I reckon like find a weakness in the other team. So yeah, they just want to get me on the ball and turn so I can hit like a long ball and behind to somebody and like unlock the defense if we have a hard defense playing against us. I tell a coach that uh, they're good and just a great kid that, that loves the game, loves soccer, lives for it, studies the game, is going to be fully committed to, uh, to the program that, that he's a part of. He's going to do everything in his power to, to make himself a better player and, and be a better teammate and do whatever he can to make sure that the, the team has a lot of success. He's a big game player. He's played in two provincial finals and scored four goals and you know that he'll produce when the, when the time comes. You're getting someone that's going to give you 100% offensively, defensively, and can change a game for you. I think he's just got to keep working. He loves the game, and if he loves the game, then he'll, he'll keep progressing. And I think he, he does have a lot of ability. He's definitely got ability to go and play at pretty much any school that he wants to go and play.
Yeah, it's always been my, my dream to play at like the next level, like whether it's professionally or just a good university team. So if I could get into a good university and they can help me be a better player like on and off. I mean, I think Keen, you know, can play easily at the university and college level, uh, anywhere, whether it's uh, Canada or, or south of the border. He's a leader within the group and probably have a potential captain for your program down the road for sure. But he's got a, an EU passport, so there's nothing stopping him going over to Europe and trying his luck over there. I mean, he's definitely got ability. He loves the game. Uh, but I'd love to see him do something with it.